Welcome back, family. So let's dive right in. If you've recently found yourself severing ties with someone, stepping away from a relationship that was doing more harm than good, or even if you're just mulling over the idea of making such a move, this message is tailored for you. I want to get you ready because those individuals, the ones you've distanced yourself from, there's a pretty good chance they'll try to make a reappearance in your life. Trust me, they aren't looking to just casually drop by and say hi. They're on a mission to probe and prod, to check if you've really moved past them. They're wondering how much you've healed, what strides you've made in personal growth since your last encounter. Now, why are they trying to re-enter your life? It's not out of nostalgia or a sudden epiphany that they ought to treat you better. And it's definitely not because they've been on their own journey of self-improvement. Although sure, it's possible a rare few might have actually taken some steps toward personal betterment. But here's the real scoop. This message is for those of you who've had to forcefully eject someone from your life and now they're trying to slip back in, curious to test just how resilient you've become in their absence. All right, here's the real truth on why they're probably feeling like something's missing without you around. It's because you were basically their rock, their steady hand in a storm. Anytime they rang you up, bam, you were there, picking up without a second thought. You embodied integrity and reliability. They could count on you like no other. Even when you weren't physically around, you were that person they knew would always hold it down. They realized deep down that you're the kind of person who's genuinely solid, right to the core. And let's face it, someone like you, you're not just lying around on every street corner. You're the kind of rare gem that doesn't come around every day. So what did they do after you were out of the picture? They hit the streets, trying their hardest to find someone who could bring what you brought to the table. They were out there, turning every stone, hoping against hope that they'd find another you just chilling out there, waiting to be discovered. But no surprise, they came up empty. That special something you have, it's not something that's easy to replicate. Realizing that they had let go of someone irreplaceable, they started to circle back, creeping around, hoping to find a way back into your good graces. Now they're out here asking themselves, do I still have any sway over them? Can I still pull those strings? But let me lay down the truth. This return of theirs isn't about them getting nostalgic over the good old days or suddenly realizing they should have treated you better. Nope. This is about them missing the ease and benefit you brought into their lives. It's manipulative, plain and simple. They're not here to patch things up or make a heartfelt apology. They just miss having someone who made life smoother and more manageable. Someone who handled things so well that their life felt easier. They want that back, but not necessarily with the right intentions at heart. All right, you've got to keep those defenses high and not fall for the same old song and dance. Don't get swayed by their sweet talk, their fancy gifts, or any of those classic maneuvers they pulled in the past to sway you their way. They're about to throw everything but the kitchen sink at you, pulling from their old bag of tricks that they think can draw you back into the fold. Don't let them get into your head. Stay solid, stay strong, and keep replaying in your mind the reasons you had to cut ties in the first place. Remember the deal breakers that pushed you to walk away and why it was absolutely crucial for your peace to put distance between you and this person. They showed you who they really were from the get-go, and you've got to hold on to that reality. Your integrity, your whole character, was never up for debate. It was rock solid, giving them zero legit reasons to push you away. Now they're circling back, realizing the gem they lost, recognizing just how valuable you are. You need to stand your ground, hold on to the truths they revealed about themselves and keep that door firmly shut. They revealed their true nature to you once, whether they were dishonest, unfaithful, or just plain toxic. And trust me, they haven't changed. They miss having someone dependable like you, someone they unfortunately took for granted. If there was ever a moment when you let them dominate or diminish you, that's the version of you they're hoping to reconnect with. But you're not that person anymore. You've done the work, you've healed, you've grown, and you've transformed into someone who no longer tolerates disrespect or mistreatment from anyone. 
That's the real reason you stopped talking to this person. Hold firm to that decision. Remember why you walked away and keep in mind that this person has the capacity to repeat their past behaviors because each time you let them back in, their respect for you diminishes. They start to believe that your boundaries aren't actually firm. If you set a line telling them, I don't tolerate that, and then you cut them off only to let them back in later, they'll see it as a sign that you're not serious about your standards. So you need to stand your ground on the reasons why you left and why you knew you had to cut this person out of your life. They're betting on you still being broken, still being weak in heart and mind. They're banking on the chance that their manipulation and lies will still have an effect on you. This is your opportunity to prove them wrong, to show them that their old tricks have no power over you anymore. Show them that you're not the same person they once knew. When they circle back around, best keep your distance. Either hit that block button, or if circumstances require communication, like sharing kids or other unavoidable ties, keep it strictly business. Go full on gray rock on them. If they start prying into your personal life, keep your responses brief and to the point. No need to spill any extra details, right? Remember, these folks can be like snakes in the grass, just waiting for the chance to strike again. Stay sharp, keep your senses on high alert, because this situation is likely to crop up if it hasn't already. You need to teach these people that being a part of your life is a privilege, not a right. They don't get to mistreat you, throw you aside, and then just waltz back into your life like nothing happened. Make it clear that having someone like you in their life is a privilege, an opportunity they squandered through their actions, which ultimately led you to step away. And also, take this as a chance to acknowledge your own growth. Cutting ties with these types of relationships is never easy, but recognizing your strength and resilience can be incredibly empowering. Show yourself just how far you've come and remind yourself that you deserve relationships that respect and honor your boundaries. You know, it's never easy thinking about cutting ties with someone we care about, right? But here's the thing, you deserve respect. You deserve to be treated properly, to be valued like the royalty you are, whether that's as a king or a queen. And if the people in your life aren't treating you with the respect and reverence you deserve, it's time to step up and treat yourself right. So if they're not stepping up to offer you the respect you rightfully deserve, then it's totally on you to step in and protect your own peace. You need to block out that negativity, shut it down completely, right? It's time to showcase the growth you've achieved, to honor yourself with the respect you've always deserved and seriously surprise them with the level of your healing and strength. They're edging back into your scene because they mistakenly think you haven't changed, believing they can still play you, thinking they've still got you wrapped around their finger. But let me tell you straight, those days are over. You're not the person you used to be. You've evolved, you've healed from your past wounds, you've snatched back your power from those who didn't deserve to hold any sway over you. So hold your head high with the strength you've cultivated. I love you guys tons, and I truly hope this message hits home for those who need a little nudge to remind them just how far they've come. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.